welcome back to the channel fragrance journey hopefully everybody's having a blessed day hopefully everybody has a blessed sunday i was gonna come today with a i guess a list of cheapies and designer fragrances that i have in my collection that um i'll be wearing this fall um <clears throat> i haven't really done any designer reviews <clears throat> but i do have some in my collection that i really enjoy and some of them are cheapies the first one I found, I found, I think I ordered this online, um, and I was shocked. And most of these I got when I first started getting into the fragrance game, uh, and that one is Halston Amber. Really beautiful, ambery, sweet, resinous, spicy, myrrh. It's a really wonderful fragrance. I can't remember how much I paid for this. I think I paid maybe like 18 bucks or something like that. But this is a really good one. Um, performs okay. I mean, it's not a performance monster. But um, I definitely like to smell this on my skin. The next one I'm going to talk about, uh, me and my guy, the Cine Engineer, we, we spoke on this one. This is one of my favorite cheap fragrances that I ever picked up. Um, and it's from Jacquez Foth. Man, this is like an old school masculine ambery spicy woody type i don't know if this got some kind of berries or something in it also but this one is performs great it dries down to like a sweet uh vanilla type uh deal it is really good and i think for this 4.2 ounce bottle i actually have three bottles of this i pay like maybe 20 bucks um if you're in the um older masculine type fragrances Definitely get your nose on Jacquez Foth Pour On. Really good one. Uh, another one that I wear, that I will wear a lot, and I think this is supposed to be a woman's, I think three of these fragrances that I'm going to be talking about are women fragrances. And this is from the house of Hermes, and this is Leombre Des Marvelis or something like that. But this is also another amber fragrance. I already sprayed a little bit on my arm. This one is more of a skin scent. But it's a beautiful, sweet, resinous, ambery type fragrance. Um, it's not loud. It's not going to blow anybody out the water. But it's one I also enjoy just smelling on myself. It's sweet. It's uh, creamy, ambery. Uh, got some vanilla under um, undertones. It's really, really, really nice. And uh, I really like this bottle too. The next one we're going to talk about is one... Two of these are women fragrances. And when I first got into the fragrance game, I smelled Noir de Noir. I got a sample from somebody. I fell in love with it. But at that time, I wasn't really into spending a lot of money on fragrances. And um, I went to a boutique somewhere in the city in Memphis. And I smelled this one. And I was like, wow, that's really nice. And it's Tom Ford, Tom Ford Noir. But this is the poor film version. This is the woman's version. I've never smelled the Noir, the men's version. But this one to me, I get florals, florals. But this one almost seems like chocolatey gourmand. I don't think chocolate is in the actual, in the actual notes. I don't know the notes for this, for none of these, to be honest. I'm just kind of going off the top of my head. But this one is kind of chocolatey, uh, kind of creamy, florally. Well, that's probably not a word. But you get some floors. To me, it smells like a gourmand with chocolate. Really nice. Kind of dry. Not really that sweet. But this one does have great performance. Um, it stays on my skin for a long time. Um, really long time. So that's another one from the house of Tom Ford. That's Tom Ford Noir. Noir. Poor film. Another Tom Ford. This might be one of my favorite fragrances in my collection. And now that I'm able to read notes and things of that nature i kind of get a better vibe on this one than i did when i first started the fragrance i'm talking about is tom ford velvet orchid man this is boozy floral creamy resinous man just a wonderful creation this one is just so beautiful on my skin the creaminess with the booziness and the florals is just amazing um, I'm shocked that more men don't actually wear this fragrance because it's, it's it's really, really, really good. I definitely need to try to wear this a lot more. Um, 
this fall because it just it's just so beautiful. I just love taking my jacket off and just smelling this, especially when I'm especially when it's cold. The last one I'm gonna talk about is one that I picked up when I first got in. This might have been the first bottle that I picked up. I think this was. I think I watched a video from Sebastian or somebody and he was talking about fragrances that you have to have in your collection. When I first got it, I was like, ugh, it, you know, I didn't really care for it. But now I'm able to break down notes and actually um, look at fragrances a lot differently. It's one that I actually enjoy. And it almost reminds me of Chanel Sycamore. But I think Sycamore is a little better than this one. But this one I'm talking about is Ancre Noir. Just a dark, dry, vetiver. To me, it doesn't change much on skin, but this is loud, it's bold. Um, the dryness is what I like on this one. Um, and for the price, I mean, you're gonna pay, I don't even know how much this is, 20 bucks, 25 bucks, something like that. You can't beat the price. I suggest all newbies to the uh, fragrance game get a bottle of Uncre Noir. I haven't smelled the extreme or anything, or the, the sport or any of those. But this is, bottle is pretty much almost full. I usually just spray this on my hand every now and then when I'm around the house just to kind of get to know it. But this is definitely a dark, beautiful, inky, uh, great veteran. And that's just a quick list of some of the cheaper fragrances that I have in my collection. Some of them are um, supposed to be for women, but you know, it's unisex to me. Uh, and these are some of the fragrances, designer fragrances that I'll be wearing couple of them are on the cheaper end and um i just want to make a list on that and if you can like subscribe leave a comment down below if you woke up today you're definitely winning and other than that i'm out peace <music>